Hey everybody, it's John from Seattle Coffee Gear. I'm here today with an overview of the Eureka commercial grinder lineup. They have a lot of different models and it's only growing with the recent addition of the Helios models. So I thought it'd be helpful to have a video we can share with you to show you all the differences so you can get a better idea of what grinder might be a good fit for you. So I'll just run through them real quick and then we'll talk about some specs and talk about some grind times and the setup settings and applications each one is ideal for. So starting here on the left hand side, we have the Eureka Zenith 65E, then we have the Olympus 75E, then we have the KRE, then we have the Helios 65 and the Helios 80. So that's five models in total. There did used to be the club grinder, which was a step below the Zenith, but we no longer carry that. Uh, at least we don't have plans to keep continue bringing it in. So uh, if you see that somewhere online, it's a step below the Zenith. Uh, it's a 60 millimeter burr grinder and it takes about 15 to 18 seconds to grind a double shot. So it'll last you forever, it's super durable, but it's just a little slower than most folks need. But starting here with the Zenith, um, this is a great grinder for a coffee cart or for a decaf grinder or for just somewhere where volume isn't as important. I would say up to like 30, 40 to drinks per hour is where I recommend this. It won't crap out after you know you get to 45 drinks or something like that, but we've noticed that once you get over that amount, it can start to get inconsistent. So you'll see your doses changing quickly uh, from between shot to shot. So 30 to 40 drinks per hour is where we recommend the Zenith. I have a scale here. So let's grab this. Man, this is slippery without that rubber piece on it. Let's go backwards. Nailed it. And all of these, as you can see, are hands-free. So they all have that portafilter fork that holds that in place. Um, you just click the start button. And I had this set to about 5.6 seconds, which is gonna be pretty solid for a double shot. And that gave me just about 20 grams of coffee. So that might be a little bit coarse. I find the doubles on this go for around six seconds, but it's pretty quiet and somewhat fast. So if you need it for a decaf or a backup or secondary grinder, it does a great job. I've seen it have about a shot of retention in that burr chamber. So if you're changing your grind setting, you just need to purge a shot or maybe a double shot to clear out any grounds from your old grind setting. And it does have the same adjustment here. You can adjust your grind time there, single or double, or however you wanna set those up. And these grinders also have a lockout feature. If you press the plus and minus buttons at the same time, try not to give anyone the finger, um, then it will show a little lock symbol and now you can no longer change your shot times. But if you just press it again, you can change your shot times up and down and adjust by five hundredths of a second. Spend a little bit of extra time on that because a lot of the features on the rest of these are gonna be the same. Moving on up, we have the Olympus 75E. This has 75 millimeter burrs. Oh, before I get too far, about 500 watts, 510 watts for the motor on this grinder. Getting over to the Olympus, 75 millimeter burrs, and it's about two and a half to three seconds for a double shot. We have the upgraded red speed burrs in this grinder, so that speeds up your grind times and gives you longer burr life by just a bit. Um, let's tear out my portafilter here. And before anybody complains about us wasting coffee, this is all expired decaf coffee, so no coffee, fresh good coffee was harmed. All right. So that's 21, 22 grams of coffee in 2.6 seconds. So that might be set a little bit coarse as well. But as you can see, it's definitely pretty fluffy, consistent, uh, and right into the center of the pour to filter. So I could tap that out and level it out pretty easily. Get rid of that. Uh, this does have a more powerful motor. I think it's just close, just under 900 watts, uh, if I remember correctly. That specs on our website under the specifications. So if you want to see that for yourself, 
you can check that out there. This grinder I would recommend for maybe 60 drinks an hour about there because it is large flat burrs and it's spinning those pretty fast with that motor you do see a little bit more heat transfer if you start to get past the point where you're grinding like a double shot a minute which is about that 60 drinks an hour so keep that in mind this can handle a good amount of coffee but you'll start to see a little bit more heat transfer once you get very busy um, with all these grinders, but the Olympus especially, it's important to make sure you're running the grinder. So grind some coffee while you're making an adjustment. Because the burr chamber is smaller and it's a powerful motor, you can see clogs if you don't run the grinder while you're making an adjustment. Or if you make a massive adjustment of, say, four or five numbers. Just adjust one or two numbers at a time, and then you'll stay out of the clog zone. These are all super easy to clean if you do clog them and even grinders that are seemingly packed tight with coffee, you can take them all apart, follow our cleaning video and they're good as new. These are super durable, which is why we like them so much. Moving up the line here, we have the KRE, which has 68 millimeter conical burrs. And this grinder, in my experience, can pretty much handle anything you throw at it. So it actually has a very similar motor to the Olympus in power, but it has a gear reduction from the motor to the burrs because conical burrs are a bit more efficient at grinding coffee. They can rotate at a slower speed. So I don't have time to explain all of that and I don't think I could, but what that means for you is that there's less heat transfer to the grinds compared to the Olympus. So if you're getting really busy, you know, 60 plus drinks an hour, really cranking, it might be time to look into something like the KRE. This is a really good option if you're somebody who maybe doesn't want a grinder with the cooling and heating like the Mythos or some of the Malcona grinders have, but you still want something that's going to be able to handle a lot of volume. Because that burr speed is much slower, it just doesn't generate as much heat. So as I grind here, Hear that you're gonna see definitely a little slower a tiny bit clumpier this one might need to get cleaned these are all our break room grinders that we just keep around and use all the time so that's why they have some some love to them there but that's about 14 and a half grams In my experience that's probably set a little bit fine compared to the other grinders Generally, you're looking at about three to three and a half seconds for a double shot on the KRE, but I could grind a couple in a row and have little to no heat transfer to those grounds. So that's the KRE. Moving up here to the new models from Eureka, this is their Helios line, which is a bit more of a premium line over the rest of these grinders. These are all workhorses, but these add in some extra nice features like the top of the grinder here is metal, whereas these are plastic. The cone on here is plastic. These have a, a metal cone, I guess you could call it. And then they have this nice touchscreen interface, which is probably one of the better touchscreens out of a lot of the coffee equipment that I've used. Uh, it's very easy to work with, um, not terribly difficult. You have three different grind settings and a continuous run setting but let me tear out this portafilter. This has 65 millimeter burrs uh, and has a very similar motor to the Zenith, but I've noticed it is a tiny bit faster than the Zenith is. I'm backing up into the chute. Yeah, 24 grams, so definitely faster than the Zenith was. Set that back in place. These ones have the same uh, shiftable spout and then you can actually pull out the spout for easy cleaning as well. Put that back up in there. It's hard to do this with one hand while you're trying to focus. There we go. Set that in place there. So touch screen, a little bit faster, looks nicer, has some, you know, more quality feeling features to it. So these are their more premium line. You can see the pricing for all of these on our site. There'll be links down below. So if you have questions about the price, 
read the description and just click a link and you'll be able to check that out. Moving up here, this is the Helios 80. This is the newest Eureka grinder in the US. And this has 80 millimeter burrs. It has an extremely powerful motor to the point that it actually needs a 20 amp circuit. So if you look at the plug, it has one vertical, one T, and then the ground on the bottom. I'll grab that real quick and show you. So that's a 20 amp plug for this grinder. Uh, it has this uh, horizontal uh, prong there. So it needs a 20 amp outlet. It will not run on just a 15 amp. You'll probably pop your breaker if you try to run this on a 15 amp circuit. So keep that in mind. And if you can see the screen, I have this set to 1.75 seconds, and that's not a mistake. That is how fast this grinder is for a double shot. It is spinning those burrs with a lot of force. Let's see. Yeah. And look at that grind quality. That's just like perfect and fluffy. Feel it nice and cool to the touch. And that's 18.5 grams in 1.75 seconds. Get another here. Yeah, still cool. 18.5. Do one more. And still cool. Now I want to see one more. This is addicting to see. Yeah, little to no heat transfer. The first two that I did were dead on at 18.5, then we had 18.7, then the last one was 18. So I do notice that if you grind a bunch back to back to back, you start to see more inconsistencies on most grinders. So keep that in mind. But little to no heat transfer on the Helios 80 here. That's really impressive for it being that fast and it doesn't have any sort of heating or cooling of the burr chamber. So less complicated, less to go wrong, longer lasting. Uh, you can see it any way you want. If a grinder has more stuff built in, there is more to go wrong. You could have a shorter life, uh, maybe a happier shorter life because it has more features, but uh, that's why we're making this video so you can see these all in action. Well, that covers our overview, a little bit more in depth maybe, of uh, the Eureka grinders. We've done a crew review and a crew comparison on pretty much all of these. So if you want to see those, just search for those videos on our YouTube channel and you can find a bunch of those videos. Again, Zenith, Olympus 75, KRE, Helios 65, and then Helios 80. Check these all out on our website. If you have specific comments that I don't cover here, you can always drop us a comment down below. I'll jump in there uh, to answer any of those when the video goes live. And you can always call us or send us an email or visit us at our website. If you want to see more of our videos, subscribe to our channel. We appreciate that. It helps us grow and make more content for you. And then like the video as well if you enjoyed it. It means a lot to us. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of the day. Oh, yes.